Today I want to talk about one of the biggest scams in storage. Today I want to talk about USB drives like this that are listed on AliExpress, on eBay, and now even on Amazon that are promising insane value for money in terms of price per gigabyte, but more appropriately, price per terabyte. Now this apparently is an Exomi 64 TB USB, and I purchased this for a fiver. I got a five pound USB that it says is not only an Exomi product, but is 64 TB. Now this isn't new. We've seen about USB scams. We've talked about some on the channel before, but I wanted to talk about this specifically because in the past, I've only ever seen, frankly, moody, dodgy USBs like this on websites like AliExpress and Alibaba. And it's only in the last six to 12 months that these have started going everywhere, all over eBay, all over Amazon, and on some frankly more reputable websites that I thought would know better. So in this video, I wanna talk about this USB, what my testing showed on it, and how exactly the brands that try to make these, and I say brands, because it's definitely not Exomi, it's definitely not Lenovo, it's definitely not Dell, it's definitely not all of the brands they say, how they actually do it. The first thing we have to address, of course, is the people that buy these. And we can't just point at them and go, you idiot, of course, why do you do that? Because if you live deep in the ecosystem of IT, not just storage, but just generally, then chances are you're not the target. You are not the whale for this particular scam. However, outside of the tech sector, outside of someone that's, you know, even basic level understanding of IT, you can kind of understand why they think, well, USB storage has got bigger. It's not that unheard of that it would have a large amount of capacity. You know, it's only a fiver. It's fair to criticize people that look at these drives, actually buy them and label them idiots. I don't think that is the case. So to put it into perspective, those in the know, the average price of about a terabyte of hard drive space is about 30 nicker. That's with your local tax. So for this to be a 64 TB drive in domestic price per terabyte pricing, this would need to be just shy of two grand if this was actually a legitimate 2TB drive. Also, we've got to acknowledge that the investigation and the verification of the websites that allow drives like this to be sold is pitiful. And therefore, the branded product, it's got the branded logo, and trusted websites choose to list a product like this, you can understand why the less technologically versed are going to go for something like this. And finally, what about when you connect the thing to your PC or your Mac or even your phone system? Well, straight away, when I connected this to a Windows system, when I connected this to my Android phone, in both cases, it showed me twin. It showed me 61.0 TB mathematically when you go for the conversion between gigabyte and terabytes. Exactly what I would expect to see if this was a 64 TB listed drive. So if I had gone online and I had no idea about the scams that run, I go to eBay, I see this drive, I could buy it there, spend five, 10 nicker, the cost of one or two cups of coffee, take this back, connect it into my Windows computer, connect it into my phone, and my device shows 60 odd terabytes of storage. At that point, the less technologically versed user is going to trust what they see. Because at that point, the trust is no longer with the reputable website or even the brand on the drive. They're trusting their operating system and the computer that they use every day. So therefore, we have to at least go a bit easy on the people who get hit by this scam. And that's notwithstanding when you've got even a nugget more technology and you go beyond your com my computer and you go through disk part, you go into disk management, you use reputable known storage drive benchmark tools and this drive appears a 64 TB in those areas. You would be forgiven even going into Windows PowerShell and running individual tests unless you dig especially deep this drive will still be listed on multiple levels of your operating system as a 64 TB drive. 
But after that, needless to say, the facade falls apart quickly. Generally, with these Moody drives, the performance numbers on them, even when they are USB 3 drives, even when, you know, to the untrusted eye, you see the lovely blue USB and go, USB-C, USB blue, oh, it must be 5 gig USB. And they don't think in those terms, they just think performance. But even sustained testing on this starts at around 10 megabytes and then drops, which, by the way, is comical. But obviously, this does not have 61 TB. What we do have is a drive that even if it did have 61 TB, would take something like 80 to 100 days to fill at that speed so straight away there's a worry how exactly does windows bloody windows operating system beyond the year 2000 fall for this nonsense well it's to do with three main parts of the usb firmware number one it is the file allocation table or fat next the logical volume descriptor and finally partition tables all of these are hardwired into the firmware that this drive arrives with there and um, you know it may surprise you when you connect to drive to windows systems in many cases it does not thoroughly investigate the drive it reads and trusts this information that is passed to it, it doesn't do a quick bite by bite block by block bypass it trusts the information that the firmware is presenting to it and then afterwards windows just allows every app afterwards to trust what it's telling it it is just whispers upon whispers upon whispers so you would be right to ask how on earth is this still the case in 2024 2025 well nice and simple whenever you see these dodgy drives they are arriving generally pre-formatted in fat or fat 32 x fat or just fat now this means that they're using a much older framework of usb we have moved way beyond that ntfs we have moved on to other file systems for drives and logical volume distribution whereupon there has to be further investigation because these are file formats and block allocation that were designed and volume allocation i should say that were designed around larger capacities fat has been largely outgrown and only found on smaller drives indeed windows won't let you format officially beyond eight gigabytes you have to use third-party tools um like fat32 gui that allows you to format larger than eight gigs to fat32 for legacy systems to take advantage of it now the newer generation of file systems on drives have built in integrity checks built in checksums to avoid this kind of duping unfortunately when you buy these drives of course they're not going to be using any format that allows for the modification of that firmware on board to be flagged they will always lock it to fat32 always locking it to xfat and what do you think happens if you formatted this drive from fat over to ntfs You'll be unsurprised to hear that go to another file system and suddenly you find out your 64 TB drive is 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes. You might be lucky and got 64 gigabytes there. And even then, you still have a garbage file transmission, but it doesn't end there. Let's all say it together, horrific viruses. This USB could quite easily have an executional or a simple line of command line that once this is connected to your system and your Windows system goes into the directory of that firmware, it can action. And then from there, it can create a partition on your local operating system with which it can start executing ransomware or infecting your system with a virus, keyloggers and more. Alternatively, it could simply destroy your system. That's less likely because it's not in the interest of the provider to kill your system. But more often than not, whenever you see drives like this being sold online, the pages don't stay up for very long because someone will be impacted. Contact the website in general and that page gets taken down fast. However, there's thousands of pages and the people that sell these drives will recoup and keep putting those pages out this costs them probably pennies to make and you paid a fiver it's just not worth it up to this point we've talked about usbs that if you're even got a, an inkling of knowledge in the it sector you know 
are fake as hell. However, what about when the price seems a little bit closer? What if that drive you're looking at there seems reasonable? Example, here we have a SanDisk. It looks exactly like a normal SanDisk external USB-C drive there. It's got a lot of logos and stuff on the back. It looks completely genuine. Now, how would you know whether this is moody? Now, true, you could just connect it into your system. Maybe you could pry it open and then see inside that what is supposed to be NAND just turned out to be a tiny 64 gig USB stick. Or you connect it into your system and then run some tests and find out it's actually fake as F. But at that point, you may have injected bad command line, bad viruses into your system and more. What do you do? Well, any, and I speak for any of the branded products, any real brand name, that serial number on the back will be legitimate. Take the serial number before you connect this drive anywhere near your OS and go to the manufacturer's website and enter that serial number. Serial numbers are logged and open up, if not an RMA page, then at the very least, check a serial number in their system to verify it. Because chances are, that serial number will be one of the earliest indicators whether a drive like this is moody. Another thing to keep in mind is whenever you see drives like this online showing all of the branding, showing the name WD Seagate, we talked about this drive before, what you generally find when the product arrives is a whole lot of no model logos here on board. This is a fake WD Red SSD that we talked about on the channel early in 2024. And if we open it up, two things become abundantly clear. Number one, although they've stolen the design, the logos, I'm um, sorry, the fonts and the layout, absolutely nowhere on this drive will be WD's own logo. Moreover, when you get to the description, sometimes they simply just deleted the product name and the manufacturer on the back when they just copied the text over from the original product. Why is that? Because it's one thing to have it listed online with a model ID, but if you have a physical product that shows that they have been ripping off brands, that is a trail, my friend. And that is why, more often than not, pages that are online that can be deleted end up having the logos, but when you get the product, very, very rarely would they have the actual logo on the product. Bottom line, the majority of you watching this were never going to be impacted by scams like this. You know what a terabyte is worth. You understand that 64 TBs on a USB doesn't even exist, let alone that you can get it for a fiver. And you know Seagate and WD even slightly enough to understand that this is not one of their solutions. You are not the target for a scam like this, but they are looking for the less tech versed whale, the one in every thousand, the one in every 20,000, the one in every 100,000 who falls for this and they go on a numbers game. As angry as we should be, at the scammers that produce these drives, we need to be angrier at the platforms and the e-commerce websites that continue in 2024 and 2025 to allow drives like this to continue to be sold when they are clearly bogus. And for that, they are beneath contempt as far as I'm concerned. Let's have a discussion about this in the comments. Did you buy one of these drives or did someone buy one of these drives for you? Maybe you turned up on site and someone had a bunch of these in a NAS system populated with 4TB drives and you suddenly went in and found out they were lucky to have 100 gig. Let's share the stories below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll do a written article on this and we have covered a few moody drives in the past. So we'll link towards those videos and articles below. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a fantastic week.